win with London System Opening. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today we will see a match between very strong two Grandmasters with white pieces. Gata Kamski against Samuel Shankland in a very interesting system in London. So what can I tell you about the London system opening? Generally speaking, this is an opening that players at the beginning of their journey in chess started to play. And why? Because no matter what black does, white will develop his pieces the same right over and over again with very similar ideas so white don't need to know so much theory right just trying to play normal chess so in this game particular game i really want to show you a very beautiful trap with white pieces in the london system so let's start d4 knight f6 and bishop f4 so white is developing his bishop very very important bishop uh, from f4 and is claiming that this bishop will do a very good job in this diagonal so let's see d5 also another option is to play for example d6 i don't know knight f3 g6 e3 bishop g7 knight bd2 b6 bishop d3 bishop b7 a4 a6 c3 castle castle knight bd7 black wants to play c5 rook a7 queen a8 maybe such such games were played a lot but Samuel is playing the move d5. Now e3, e6, knight d2. And now with the black pieces, I played a lot of time bishop to d6. My point that after knight gf3, I'm doing castle before I'm playing c5. Because after c5, white will have the opportunity to play the move bishop b5 check. So for, for example, castle, bishop d3, and now c5, c3, and queen c7 with knight bd7 with e5 this is my point of course it's not so simple because bishop takes d6 in one option also knight e5 is another option so much theory here a lot of games were played and it's fine for black i think but overall after knight d2 here c5 it's also a move but i like more to play bishop d6 so c5 was played by shankland and now white played the move c3 of course knight c6 knight gf3 and bishop d6 uh, and now white is playing the move bishop to g3 as you can see the pawn structure with white pieces are very very strong with c3 d4 and e3 they are uh, you know cover each other and also all of this is looking uh, for the e5 square with a knight maybe and also f4 uh, maybe could come right so castle with the black pieces and now bishop to d3 the point that after bishop takes g3 for example h takes and this uh, h file will open for the rook and this might looks not so simple for for black right because uh, white will attack it and maybe also uh, white will um, do a long castle so now queen e7 was played the the the, the idea of course is to play the move e5 for example, queen c7 is not so good because of d takes c5 and bishop takes c7 is, is bad, really bad. So bishop g3, h takes g3 and also this h file uh, another time opened with g4, g5, maybe e4 and one pawn up, right? Uh, for white. So queen e7 was played, of course, e5, this is the threat. So white played the move knight to e5 and here comes the plunder. I, I really feel the the excitement in your uh, visual now and yeah it's it's really really beautiful black play the move knight to d7 and this is a very big blunder what white can do so i will show you guys and as you can see you know the bar in the left doesn't have a, a, you know the int for the blunder but knight d7 this is the move and now after bishop d7 we have the move bishop takes d6 queen takes d6 and now d takes c5 just unbelievable until now it's very very logical because it's you know like a calculation of taking pieces right uh, everything is theoretical but queen takes is five and now the move is 
Bishop takes h7 and now as you can see the bar is up and the computer understand that this position is already very bad for black and let's understand why because for example king h8 of course queen h5 and this is game over immediately bishop g6 queen h7 checkmate this is the threat of course he will take the bishop on h7 so black is you know claiming oh i take a bishop up thank you very much but no queen h5 check king g8 and now the brilliant move guys really beautiful beautiful one knight to e4 we are threatening the queen we are threatening knight g5 with some checkmate ideas here and of course that d takes e4 is just bad after queen takes e5 and white is winning so knight e4 was played Samuel Shanklin played them with queen to c4, knight g5 with a checkmate threat. Uh, of course, after queen d3, I think just e4 and white will win. Rook d1 also um, will be with tempo. So rook fd8 was played, queen takes f7 check, king h8, queen h5 check, king g8, and now rook to d1. So white is down a piece, but the black king is very very weak in this position for example bishop e8 is very bad after queen h7 check king f8 queen h8 check king e7 taking this pawn also king d6 and now i don't know b3 it seems like the queen is uh, strapped somehow i don't know if it's trapped but for example knight c5 what a checkmate knight e4 checkmate on the board after queen g4 knight f7 and just taking the queen right so everything is just losing uh, of course after queen a6 or queen b5 also knight e4 checkmate on the board in the center of the board so uh, generally speaking after bishop e8 uh, it's uh, yeah it's white will win the game e5 was played uh, by samuel shankland and now queen f7 check king h8 and e4 very very strong and accurate moves by gadakamski one of the best players uh, you know like he's just um, in his in his best he was like one of the best in the world um, nowadays uh, you know uh, it's not a good days for him i think i saw him uh, in the last tournament uh, european chess club and he was like uh, not in his best i really hope that everything will be fine for him so e4 a brilliant move by gadakamski you see that his rating was 2709 um, yeah, it's beautiful. 97 was played by Samuel Shanklin because there is no moves to play, right? Uh, e takes d5, or so rook takes d5, and queen h5. Always there is a move, just don't know how to play. For example, queen a2, I think just queen g6 maybe, or also queen h5, king g8, queen h7, yeah, this one, and maybe castle with f4, just the king is too weak here in the center uh, so 97 was played queen takes bishop b5 rook d2 because queen e2 was a threat of checkmate in the board and queen takes a2 queen f7 of course nothing to afraid for white and rook queen a1 rook d1 queen b2 queen h5 queen h7 queen h8 queen takes e7 and rook takes d5 king c6 and queen f6 and black resigned his game of course after king c7 just 96 check and you know king b6 i'm taking the rook and um, you know we check of course this is game over and uh, yeah samuel shankland lost his game against gatakamski with a very beautiful trap in the london system opening and you know what before i will finish this video i really want to tell you one very important story i had like one time one friend uh, that are playing chess and always he said to me come on let's play chess let's play chess you know and i play with him and until that time he played only the london system and each game that i was in black pieces with the black pieces of course he played against me the london system and the game were you know very very interesting because he knew how to develop his pieces he knew what uh, is his plans to play and he didn't you know did mistakes just like this like this is just playing good moves and that's it and one time i said to him you know what after the 25 moves 30 moves he lost because you know uh, he need to understand the chess game right he it's not good just to learn opening and to know how you how can you develop a pieces and what is the plan and that's it this is not chess right it's 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 good that you know how to learn uh, theory in london and traps and, and all, all of this but it's really really not the most important thing you must learn tactic to calculate variation 
uh, to think about plans, right? This is the most important thing in chess, right? So one time I said to him, you know what? After d4, I will play the move e5 against you. You must see it, d4, e5. And I said to him, you know what? I will show you that after d4, e5, I will win the game more easy than I won uh, against the London system. And he said to me, oh no, you don't understand nothing. He took the pawn and we played some moves. And after I think 10 moves or maybe 12, uh, he resigned the game because he just don't know how to put his pieces on the board, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope that you understand my point uh, of playing London. It's good, but you must calculate. You must think about plans. You must learn openings because this is not the only opening in chess. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.